Another gift of Allah Azza wa Jalla to the Messenger is the Quran. We say the Quran is the final miracle to the Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Was Musa alayhi salam given a miracle? Was Isa alayhi salam given a miracle? Was Salih alayhi salam given? They were given miracles too. So what's so great and abundant about the Quran? All of their miracles were only miracles while they were there. After they died, those things were no longer miracles, they were only stories that can be narrated. In other words, somebody who saw Musa alayhi salam turn the staff into a snake, can one day tell their child, you know what I saw with my own eyes? And then that child will say, you know what, my grandf- what your grandfather told me? And they can pass it down, but the first one saw a miracle, the rest of them heard what? A story. And a story isn't a miracle, it's a story. You can believe it, and you can also what? Disbelieve it. But a miracle is something, it's in your face. The messengers is the only miracle, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, that lives on and is as convincing as it was when it was revealed. The miracle lives on. The proof that the Qur'an is the word of Allah, the arguments of the Qur'an, the hujjah of the Qur'an is as valid today as it was then, because, because all the other messengers were given miracles for the eyes to see. But this messenger, predominantly, he was given a miracle for the ears to hear, and we still have ears where you can hear the same exact message. Subhanallah. It's something incredible Allah gave his messenger. Right? Allah guaranteed his messenger victory. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. part of the good he gave him. You know, there are other messengers that came, 950 years, no victory on the earth. Except the believers had to escape, and the town, the world had to be destroyed. <laughs> But Allah Azza wa Jalla gave this messenger victory. Now I want to talk to you about that victory for a second. What's even miraculous about that victory? What's miraculous about that victory? You know, in, in the the kinds of the kind of change that happened in Arabia and which became international in how long? Twenty three years. The Prophet's life is sixty three years, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But his life as a messenger is twenty three years. So the, whatever change we're talking about that happened in the Arab world happened in how long? Twenty three years. Twenty three years. Has there ever been a change in the world that happened over the course of 23, 33, 43, 53, 63 years? I don't care if you talk about 500 years. A change that changed the way people think, what people love, what people hate, how people dress, how they run their government, how they run their economics, how they get married, how they get divorced, how they go to the bathroom, what they eat, what they don't eat, what they say, what they don't say, how they do business, how they take a loan, it changed every aspect of their life in how long? 23 years. 23 years. You know in world, those of you that are in high school, you take global history, and you learn about revolutions, you learn about the Bolshevik revolution in Russia, you learn about the French revolution in Europe. These revolutions were either political or economic. They didn't change the ethics of the people, they didn't change how people eat and sleep and drink, they didn't change what people love and hate, they didn't change how people dress, nothing else changed. One big change over the top and that's it. And even those changes were brought about by people who read the works of philosophers, and those philosophers lived decades before. Now, in other words, there's the historical formula. The philosopher, the philosopher of an idea is never on the battlefield. Never. And the philosopher of an idea is not even himself a revolutionary, he's just a philosopher. He's not going out there to try to convince people to make changes. He's not doing, he's just writing. He's just writing. Even the French Revolution, Voltaire and Rousseau, you read about this in global history, right? These writers never saw the revolution. There was like almost a century before the revolution ever happened. In the case of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who is delivering the message and who's on the battlefield? Can you imagine? And who's on the front of the battle? Who's delivering the message and who's being boycotted and being forced to live in a cave? Who's being expelled from his house? He's not just standing in behind some podium and telling the people to march forward. He's the first to march forward when there's nobody standing behind him. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam. This has never happened in history. Ever. Ask your political science professor. Ask your history professor. So Allah gave His Messenger victory like no other. Like a book like no other and a victory like no other. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam.